Hi everybody, I'm Miguel Sanchez, and welcome to episode 460 of Moshi Monsters Biography. We have already begun the letter W, and we're so glad you're here today, because we are about to close out another Monsterling set. This one is the Kitty set. It all ends today. So, brace yourselves, people. It's about to change forever. We started the set with... With Fru Fru, the snooty ooh la la, who was a super boshling in the set. That was on episode 137. Now we took a look at the first main boshling in the set, Ginger Snap, the Winger Cat, on episode 151. Then we went all the way down to our next boshling, which was Lady Galford, the Pretty Kitty, who was on episode 217. And then most recently we took a look at Purdy, the Tubby Hakishi, on, on episode 322. Now it's time to meet the final boshling in the set, so be prepared for it, guys. It is because you're, you're about to be nerdy about it, and it's going to happen today. Are you ready? Then let's get started. Welcome to episode 460. Today is about Waldo, the tabby nerdy cat. I don't know about you, but it is definitely happening, my friends. We're gonna, we're about to see what this tabby nerdy cat can do. If those who have seen episode 459, we took a look at at Waffles, the Knickerbocker Bear, a super boss link from the Snowy set. So watch now. Link to that will be on the top recorder. So you can go check out the video, see for yourself. In the meantime, Everybody must come to start. Are you ready? Then let's begin. Here we go. So who is Waldo? Waldo, the tabby dirty cat, is one of the kitties monsters in Moshi Monsters. Uh, Waldo wears glasses and carries around a calculator. They are skilled in physics, mathematics, and loves discussing about comics. Waldo appears in the Moshi Moshi and reports whether the player did a good job or not. So yes, everybody needs to know is all right here. Moving on to stats here. Name is Waldo. Says kitties. Moshi number 077. Again. At 077, I know. Species, Tappy, Dirty Cat. Rarities, rarities. On September 8, 2008, Bigger Sister Stage 1. That, I told you, my friends. OG Moshling. Waldo is an OG Moshling. And, and number 77. So, yes, I know. Finally, a Moshling combination to catch him. Pink Love Berries, Red Star Blossom, Dragon Fruit of any, of any Color. So, again, Pink Love Berries, Red Star Blossom, Dragon Fruit of any Color. That is the combination you need to catch Waldo. All right, good. We go into the biography. A tabby dirty cat can tell you, it can tell you the square root of a banana in a flash. But thinks being so cool, but thinks being cool means sitting in a bucket of ice. They spend most days and nights and fiddling with circuit boards, arguing over geeky comics, and um, and listening to quantum physics and physics hour on Fake Doodle FM. Oh, and never ask them to dance. They can't. You know, in the Quasar's Guide. I thought I was geeky, but Tabby Dirty Cats can tell you the square root of a banana faster than you can say sci-fi convention. I even managed to persuade one to repair my camera after I dropped it in the bath. It makes the tea now, as well as taking photos. Nerdies spend the most days and nights fiddling with circuit boards, arguing over comics, and listening to Quantum Fixes Hour on FanDuel FM. Trying to find one is harder than Reverse algebra, but I've discovered they like topping nachos. Never ask them to dance. They can't. I know. Perhaps that these studious moshlings spend most of their time in the cubby house holes by the grassy knoll on Honeycomb Hill. Now I know. Personality dweeby, dweebish te tech savvy, inventive dis likes untangling pretzels and fixing sol 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 soldering irons, dislikes good dancers and contact lenses. Hmm. I get it. In the character encyclopedia, main tech savvy Tabby Wallow cat and the rest of the dirty cat litter spend their time while studying by the grassy knoll on Honeycomb Hills. Yeah, on Honeycomb Hill. These clever moshlings are big kitties in the wide world or algebra, but they definitely but they're definitely not wild cats. In fact, they're so dweeby. In fact, they think they think they're cool it means a library with air conditioning. I know, feline fun. Dirty cats spend their time fixing things and burying their noses in comics. Credits of habit. They listen to the quantum physics hour on Fangdo FM every day while untangling pretzels and munching on toffee nachos. <sighs> they don't go out much at all, especially not the end of our disco, as these masters of math of baths can't dance. I don't think so. Curiosity, throw the cat. 
I know, inquisitive and inventive, Ronald loves tinkering with equipment and experimenting with powerful po uh, potions and formulas in his hidden laboratory. Yes, this is good, my friends. This is good. Data thought, botching type, kitties, species, tabby, dirty cat, habitat, honeycomb hill, kitty jumps, our ginger staff, purdy, and lady Alford. And yes, that's a video. So yeah, that, yeah that, that's everything you need to know. They'll discuss in past episodes of the series, so please go watch right now for the notes. He can wear contact lenses, but Wano loves his thick, geeky glasses too much. Oh boy. Having a tail should help him with dancing, but nerdy cats trip over theirs. Yes, and nerdy cats never go anywhere without their calculators. I know. So once again, Purdy on episode 322. Lady Effort on episode 217. Ginger type on episode 151. If you have seen these episodes yet, please watch them right now. But moving on to the Motionpedia, a tabby dirty cat can tell you the square root of a banana in a flash, but thinks being cool means sitting on in a bucket of ice. In a bucket of ice. Yeah, a bucket of ice. They spend most days and nights fiddling with circuit boards, arguing over geeky comics, and listening to Quantum Physics Hour on Vandoodle FM. Trying to find a tabby dirty cat is harder than reverse algebra, but things, but they seem to like toffee nachos. Never ask them to dance. They can't. In the official Quantum Physics Guide, if you're looking for the geekiest monsters, it's hard to beat the tabby dirty cats. These freaky felines are into comic books and computers. They can calculate the math math mathematical formulae. But when it comes to being cool, these cats are a catastrophe. Don't ever ask them to dance unless you've secured all breakable objects. Tabby Nerdy Cats live in the cubby holes by the grassy knoll on Honeycomb Hill. They are rarely seen because they, they're usually hard at work behind closed doors, fiddling with circuit boards, and sharing the superhero stories with their geeky friends. <laughs> Man, that's cool. It looks good. Yeah, no. We on to the trivia. Despite being said not to be able to dance, Rollo can do robot dancing. <laughs> I know. And finally for the gallery, there's Rollo's Twilight Art as seen in the Moshi State Meditation, Rollo's Wondrous Washing Machine. <laughs> Yay. Thank you. I love it. It, was, well, it wasn't for me, but I gotta say, it's definitely the best. Yeah, I love it. I love it when Rollo is here. He's got a, his yellow shirt. He's got brown. He's got green shorts. Nothing else a little wear up here, but yes, it's definitely the best. Whew, man, that was good. But yeah, that's at the end of Waldo. Ladies and gentlemen, if I lost for this character, I gotta say, Waldo is definitely a, a, a true hero. I, gotta, I have no doubt in mind that Waldo could do almost anything at all. And I gotta say, Waldo is number one. And so thus, on scale, what's 10? I'm already Waldo with a score of 9 out of 10. Awesome! Yes, totally awesome. One of, uh, one of the best ways to enjoy yourselves in the air, whatever you want, guaranteed. No doubt about it. Yeah, but, but yeah, that's a little personal conservative opinion. Please feel free to agree or disagree with any of your opinions just by leaving them in the comment section below. However, all these must come to an end. Thank you all for watching another episode of Moshi Monster Biography. And with that, another launching set is complete. Yay! The kitty set is done. Thank you, Tabby Dirty Cats. You too, all though. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow for more content, including Little History, episode 385, where we'll be about Volkswagen. So be on the lookout for that. And... Tomorrow, if the next sleep story, if the next sleep story comes out, I'll react to emotional sleep story reactions. If not, a bit of his, a bit of his meditation, sound, moment, or anything else is, uh, I'll have to react to it. On, I'll, I'll have to react to it uh, in the following week. So, don't miss it with that, guys. Otherwise, guys, you have a great day. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. It's just you yourself. I will see you tomorrow on Moshi Monsters Biography. Well, we got another character to take a look at next episode. Episode. 461 is about Wallace, the woozy windbag out of the Toonies set. Another Super Mario to take a look at next time as we are nearing the end of the set. Oh, boy. Yes, yeah, that's right, my friends. We started the set with Hip Hop, the blaring boot box on episode 176. Then we took a look at Oompa, the brass blowy thing. Yeah, the brass blowy thing. Yeah, the brassy blowy thing. Yeah, I know. That... Oh yeah, that character was on episode 287, and then, we, and then was recently Planky, the Squeezy Tickle Huff, on episode 305. So if you haven't seen any of these episodes yet, please watch right now, then come back as we take a look at Wallace, the the, we, uh, the woozy windbag, so be on the lookout for that. Otherwise, guys, you have a great rest of today, because it's just until tomorrow, please remember to leave a like, share this video with your friends, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on notifications to miss a new video. Please subscribe to the notification drawing to miss a new video from me as we're on the road to 1,100 subscribers. 
So yeah, thank you for watching. Yes, we're on the road to 1,100, so subscribe now. And because we're because we're getting closer, my friends. Otherwise, guys, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe because we're on the road to 1,100. And we'll talk to you guys again next time. Because this is for Motion Monster Brian B. Until tomorrow, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. I'll see you in another video. Laters!